Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome back here to Answer Gravitational Report for tomorrow. We are talking about March 11th. What is the cooking in the sky? And I want to say thank you. Thank you guys for the great comments. Thank you so much for uh, everything. Uh, and welcome to the new subscribers. What is it uh, today is that the moon is, is transitioning through areas. Uh, there's going to be some uh, time in the afternoon. Uh, you're going to get this fire. You're going to get this power. You're going to feel this intuition is on fire. But that intuition is on fire. is going to have this uh, really perspective by the end of the day. We're just talking about 10, 11 o'clock uh, there. But the important thing is going to be right after that. We're talking about midnight and one o'clock at night. Uh, some of you may be going to get a, a very powerful downloads of what they need to do. Some of you is going to get this uh, internal energies of let's go get do it. Uh, let's have these new visions. Let me get this. And why is that? The moon is going to be joining the North Node uh, and at the same time is going to have a divine energies with uh, Lilith. That is going to be one of the intuition is going to be finding out what she's been looking at into the shadow. So basically you are going to be seeing it things inside of you that you've been missing for so long. You're seeking at something that the, why you're doing certain things, why certain patterns are repeating, why are certain situations and so on, why I think, why I act, why is this? You're going to find your answers in that hours during the midnight. But preparation is going to be throughout the day. So, with that being said, right here, that's what goes on here. And in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, if you're going to work, you wish you don't want to go to work. Too much going on, too much pressure, too much stress. And when we're talking about this, it's about that mid heaven that is at that Capricorn is where is the moon. Some of your bosses is not going to be in mood. Some of the situations here, and I'm going to like it. And your attention is going to be telling you, oh my God, this is not good. This is not great. My machines, my this, my that. What about you? So your inner work is going to tell you something is not right with you. Something you need to find. Something you need to look. Something that doesn't work. Why it doesn't work? Something that it goes in. What is that it? And this is this cardinal changes we're talking about uh, between a Capricorn and Aries. So in the next hour, uh, the mid heaven is going to be continue uh, doing its, its work. At uh, mid Capricorn, it's going to be at 17 degrees, almost 18 degrees uh, there. That is at uh, 17 degrees, almost 18 degrees with Lilith. And we have here 19 degrees, 13 degrees Jupiter in ascendant up here. Talking about something that is going on on Earth. Something within the material world that you need to check, that you need to perform, that you need to do this uh, energies currently they are there. And the transformations is going to be in uh, this uh, powerful order uh, right here because the moon and the Pluto is coming together. You're going to see these energies that's coming in uh, with that. Uh, also, that is involving Mercury. You're going to be talking about transformation changes that you need to look going to make and so on and so on. But what's going to take you to make those changes? You don't know yet. You're still looking for it. And those changes, there are down below. Those are all patterns that you need to hear. And you might hear those uh, patterns uh, from a people. Uh, how that's going to come in is that the ascendant that it's going to be at 9 o'clock. It's going to be at Gemini. It's going to be having this beautiful sextile with Mercury and Mercury with Pluto. But the mid heaven is with Pluto. That is the time when you dive deep of your own needs for transformations. The needs is going to give you the reasons, and the reasons is going to determine what you need to know. 
because if you don't know why you're doing certain things, it's like, I don't know. But what is the reasons? What is it this? And also that is going to be helping you is how big is your why was going to determine it, how great your how is going to become. And that how right now is the sun. But that is that that determination is inside of you that it's going to be look. But at the same time, that's going to be a challenging you in the next hour on your duality. And when we're talking about challenging you know, that uh, duality here, you see it that ascendant is creating this red triangle. Something else is going on though. The mid heaven it's right in here. It makes that divine yacht with Lilith. And with that be in together with uh, the North Note uh, energies uh, right here, at some point, uh, you know, Mars is not anymore attached to that energy it's, as you see it on your screen. But what's going to happen with this energy is at 11 o'clock, you are going to see it because this is going to give you this heads up. You'll learn it. So here is uh, today the only divine uh, energy at that time is going to be the North Node and Lilith. Looking at within your own shadow and the authority. The masculine side is like, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what did I see. I don't know where I need to go. You need to outgrow that past. You need to trust the universe and that is energy is going to come towards you. The ascendant at this time is going to be working with the mid heaven that is close with uh, Venus. Venus is still kind of like a, the feminine energy is kind of like a keeping neutral. Some of you may be even going to feel like I live my life on whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. The masculine energies that I feel like exhausted with that uh, energies with uh, Uranus. It's kind of like, a, you know what? The universe does what you do. Uh, for it, but I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to meet this point. And now, since the moon is going to come in, the moon is going to give us that energy. It's going to be giving us this energy of what we need to look inside of our shadow. All right, so talking about the next hour, which is going to be at uh, midday, that is at a mid heaven. It's together with the sun. The sun is at the highest point in the horizon uh, in there. And as you see it uh, in your uh, screens, we have divine energies towards Mars. He's looking at for that family environment that he's been looking for. Some of you may be going to be looking and digging into that uh, family environment, but at the same time, Okay, that inner work that it's concentrated here around the sun, as you see it in your chart, that energy is that it's coming for it. It's emotions. A lot of emotions about Earth, something on the Earth that did not go well, something that Mars is not happy about this material stuff. But when a Mars is going to be moving, he's going to come here. And when he comes, you see it that whatever you are doing the work right now is going to be paying it off all right so talking about uh one o'clock uh energies uh there the ascendant is going to be at uh at cancer divine energies towards uh venus pretty much that is going to be helping it's like don't worry about it we know that you're living on wherever we know that you have these things inside of it don't worry about it everything's going to be okay Venus has to feel secure, not abandoned. But at the same time, that is going to be for the people who look at that energy is going out somewhere. Those are the people who wants to find themselves, the people who are taking a trip by themselves, the people who you're taking a trip right now to find yourself, your feminine side. It's probably the best way to do it. Because you're going to a place, you're not connecting, you're not attached to anybody, you're totally free, you're doing the things that you need to do. Isaiah, one of the times that you may feel that, but that is the time when you find the best answers within yourself. And specifically on that the time of the hour, when the mid-heaven is pretty much together with the moon, you'll see that 
this energy is working with Pluto. Yeah, you're going to be opposing Pluto. You're not going to like this uh, transformations. You like to the old stereotype that doesn't work. But what you like from that old stereotype is the principles that it's built as a healthy family. All right, it's talking about the Leo a little bit. The ascendant goes in there. That's why we're talking about this fiery energy. You're going to get this fiery energy. The ascendant that is at the Leo is going to be very beautiful. Trines with the North Node and the Moon. And all that is going to come down. First of all, the one is going to come towards Mars. The other is going to come towards Pluto uh, for it, which is Mercury is there. But with that energy, it's going to transition. It's going to begin to first to uh, tackle uh, uh, and Neptune, Mercury, are we talking about? This is going to be between 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then it's going to go into the moon. Your visions, your communications, it's going to be looking at, of, hmm, I need to know more about it. I need to understand more about it. Some of you may be going to get even divine messages during this time of the day. And when we're talking about these uh, divine messages, they are going to be given to the authority. Your authority. Where you are is an authority of the current, present moment of time. Well, probably some of your authority, or you see the authority of, of within yourself, you're probably going to figure that out, the authority that is out in uh, the world. If you pay attention to the things that goes on around with the world, that's a lot of shady business, right? But before you look at the shady business outside of the world, can you look at the shady business inside of yourself? And that is going to be coming in of clearing uh, those situations with in your own self. All right, talking about this energy at four o'clock, uh, pay attention because this is going to be that similar energy at 11 o'clock uh, for it. There's a lot of going on of these healing situations. And as the ascendant is going to be transiting into Virgo, it's going to give us that visions of what do we need to do. And what I'm going to do about uh, you guys, I'm just going to go pretty much uh, zip it up a few minutes ahead. So you guys can see it. This is the North Node and uh, Pluto right here. But this is Neptune and Pluto divine energies and i'm going to be shifting a little bit uh you see it they are going to be gone by 4 30 and then uh right after around 4 30 you have divine energies with the moon those divine energies of the moon they're going to be keep repeating later on and as the moon is going to be going into the next hour Okay, you can see how the energy is changing. It's going to put pressure. And where the pressure is going to be coming in from your duality. Are you doubting these energies? Do you doubt in this? Do you doubt yourself? There is no reason you to doubt yourself in here. But there is this energies of shadows of a doubt. Why? Who is in doubt? The authority. You. You have a hard time authorizing things that you are not probably ready for it. Why? There is something inside of you with that shadow. It's coming. The shadow is going to be even uh, put this uh, energies here. That's going to be already at 6 o'clock uh, for it. You're seeing at those energies. You know those energies. You're experiencing them from uh, before. They've been for a while. It's kind of like a, they don't give you a peace. Well, if you do your inner work, if you do your proper communications, you're not going to feel it now. You're going to feel it from within others and understand how others are. If they come for you for help, you go ahead and help them. But don't go out there. And if somebody doesn't ask you for help, you can go ahead and help. Personal advice. All right, so talking about these energies of cancer right now uh, for 
don't take things into your family or whatever you have with you. It's not going to help. The family needs love. The ascendant, it says like something, it's not balanced, needs to be balanced. Who you needs to be balanced right here? Pluto, Mercury, and Moon. That's what needs to be balanced in there. But also at the same time, Mars is looking at to go ahead and develop himself up here without our vote. What are you fighting for? Are you going to get it? What are you struggling right now? Because your struggles is going to be prepare you, train you for right now for doing this. You're going to know it that I may. Right now, you may not see the results. Maybe you even doubting yourself of what you're trying to achieve. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Because the one who walks, he always reach his destination with God. All right, talking about the next hour, this is this ascendant again. Uh, the balance uh, there, you will probably have a hard time if you're Libra. Uh, that is a, what the past is coming into you. Experience it right now. I'm uh, revising a lot of things of the past, uh, seeing a lot of the things from the past that happened uh, in there. But that helps for the growth. With Jupiter that helps with the growth. And uh, talking about this, Saturn and uh, Jupiter, they're still in the sextile of uh, these energies. They're still getting at this uh, divine energies so that are coming. And you're going to see that, that this is a divine purpose. Struggling is divine purpose. Why you struggle? So you can look more. You can reconnect more. You can go more deep within the divine's and of course, uh, the divine it's, has its own way. Uh, we're talking about these energies of uh, of the ascendant that is going to be coming in towards you. It is to get that authority with the divine and leave that uh, Neptune energies inside of it. Dive deep into the secrets. Oh, I don't know what this is. Go find what this is. Or I understand what it is go read about it or go someone to explain you what this is because you can read a blueprint for the machine but if you don't have the logic for that machine how it operates can you only repair it i don't think so you can only guess and this is why uh, the balance is needed the balance is needed from who and right here we have a mars in venus this is how to hard time your partnership rise up. All right, so talking about the next hour, which is 22, which is 10 o'clock at the night uh, there. Mid Kevin is going to be at uh, Leo. Uh, we've seen these energies yesterday. Uh, the only thing right now is we have the moon. This fiery moon, this firing energies, there is this thing that it's like, okay, let's go. I want to do it. I want to move. I want to get, I want to get this done, and so on and so on. But with that energies uh, there, uh, guys, you're going to be able to see where is your authority lies within you. Because the king who chooses divine to lead the throne, he never lost. Here is that energy at 11 o'clock that uh, probably you're all expecting uh, up here. And you're seeing it here. These divine energies are so much, so grown up, so powerful um, at this time. Uh, for Pluto is helping with this energy. So if you have something in the beginning of the Virgo degrees, we're talking about this is a, like a the last degrees of Leo and the first five degrees of uh, Virgo, you probably seeing it that within yourself. You're feeling that energy of, I need to talk, I need to communicate, I need to reconnect, I need to get the things. 
I need to show up my transition, my transformations, my success. But also I have to look what I'm missing, what I have not healed. And I will be this alone Venus that is just walking in the mysteries world alone. Being there, looking at the mysteries inside. And some of you maybe feel alone and feel like offset. It's like, what is it going on with my love? Did I experience in love? Did I feel love? Did I feel this? Did I feel that? Do you experience it yourself? Is the question. And uh, here is that midnight energy that it's coming. Uh, the moon, it is about 14 degrees. The north node, it's 15. That is at about like a few minutes uh, away from the moon, the north node. That is at the time when at the moon, the intuitions, your emotions, your vibrations is going to be uniting with what's coming for you. What's coming from your destiny. You are probably going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to be looked for it. But the whole thing for your destiny that you already know was in your shadow, hidden as a gift. And the only way to see it, to find that gift, guys, you have to dive deep. You have to dive deep within this shadow. And that it's going to be the divine energies at one o'clock. Right in here, talking about this green line. That's when a soul of you is going to get awakened. Some of you is going to be getting awakened. That energy is going to be continuing there. I'm talking about at two o'clock and at three o'clock, it's going to be repeating itself. It stays there, confirm. But more, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your comments. If you need anything, please write on the email above or make comments below you know guys i'll see you tomorrow